Here we go. We're gonna test out the V-Box, see what we get. The max battery powered, 100% pretty much. That was a pretty good time. And we got the time of 2.5. warm it's interesting to see if we get into the 2.4s as we know the v-box rounds it up so we're gonna try one more time a third run and then we will do three runs with Dow lunch control so the first three runs are with lunch control launch mode and then the next three runs will be without launch controls so we can compare the numbers as this is a loner top speed is only 87 miles an hour so we can't get the quarter mile there we go again third time the charm Six. Now we're going to do three runs without lunge control. Let's see what happens. So far, max kilowatt hour has been 581.3, still the highest I think anybody's seen. mind it is windy today <laughs> not sure if that makes a difference but it probably does a little bit so I think depending on which direction we're going in the wind is going to slow us down a little bit second time Seven, pretty consistent. Third time. Here we go. Point eight. So it is losing a little bit. So we did three launch modes, three no launch modes, all ludicrous plus. So let's do one more in launch mode for good measure. Let's see if the numbers are better than 2.8, which was the last run without launch mode.
So our best times were 2.5, we had some 2.6s, then 2.7, 2.8s, and the 2.9. So we'll bring this in, look at the data from the V-Box, and see if the numbers were a bit better as it rounds to the nearest tenth. And uh, so we did three in launch mode, three in no launch mode, then two more in launch mode. This should be a total of eight runs in the data. Hi guys, Alexa here. We did some tests today with the P100D, got the V-Box, Finally, I'm very excited to use it to see if numbers will uh, be as real for me as for other people that have tested the P100D. So we took it out today, out on the course to do some runs. Did eight runs. The car was charged all the way up to 100% and max battery power. Ludicrous Plus was engaged and by the time we got to the course it was about 99%. Did the first three launches back to back, and uh, the numbers were pretty similar. In the video, the V box uh, rounds up, so the numbers were 2.5, 2.5, and 2.6. The actual numbers, as you'll see at the end of the video, were 2.547, then 2.465, and then 2.585. So that second run of 2.465 was a, a pretty good run. The one thing. Um, that I did notice is that the kilowatt hour power was dropping off drastically. I'm not sure exactly what the kilowatt hour was. When we do these tests with our car, we have the test the power tools, so we'll be able to see each kilowatt hour. Um, so I think when you do these runs back to back, passively, you're losing some power and your battery is uh, limiting you. I don't know for sure because the zero to 60 number of times are pretty consistent. The quarter mile times might be worse as you need more horsepower to hit the faster quarter mile times. Uh, the next three runs were without using launch mode and they were 2.7, 2.7 and 2.8 and then when we looked through the data in the V-Box it was actually 2.670, 2.726 and 2.816. And then the two more runs in launch mode right, right away and the V-Box on the display was 2.8, 2.9. Actually, it was 2.787 and 2.855. So all eight runs were done back to back within a matter of five, 10 minutes, and all stayed under 2.9, which is pretty impressive. But I did notice that the kilowatt hour power did drop off. It looked like almost 100 kilowatts an hour. So I'm not sure how it would affect your quarter mile times if you did these runs back to back to back to back and so on. But uh, we'll do more testing with quarter mile times to see how the battery is limited and how quickly it's limited depending on how, how hard you push the car. So the V-Box was pretty awesome. It was pretty easy to use. I know a lot of people say for the testing you need the external GPS uh, antenna, but it seemed that it worked just fine. At first it did say uh, low satellites, but then once the car left the garage, and I unplugged uh, the power cable and plugged it back in, it seemed to pick up and everything was fine and it worked with no problem whatsoever. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, you found it uh, informative, please like, share, subscribe. And if you're looking for a new Tesla Model X or S, use our referral code so we can get some cool prizes and you can get some either discount or free supercharging, which is what is going on right now until the end of the month. Um, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Uh, the battery was completely at 100% when the car was uh, left the garage. When I left the car. <laughs>